Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Overwatch 2 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U, but this time we're taking a look at it with 8GB of RAM only. Now this is 8GB of RAM, but in dual channel. Now this is an important distinction because if you are running just a single stick of RAM, then you are going to have some severe problems when it comes to gaming because your frame times are going to be completely destroyed. So this is not indicative of the level of performance that you will get in that scenario. But if you have two sticks of RAM and you own only have eight gigabytes this is the kind of performance that you can get out of this game now it's currently running right now at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings we do have fsr on and we do have dynamic resolution scaling on with the lowest that it goes down to being 70 percent so there's definitely a lot going on in the background to try to give us an actually decent result here but for the most part at the full 1080p resolution with only 15 watts of tdp on the cpu we're really struggling here in particular being the one percent lows that are just abysmal the averages aren't too bad and if those one percent lows were actually around 10 to 15 fps higher this would actually be somewhat of a doable experience but as it stands right now it's just nothing remarkable here and i think 1080p is really pushing the level of usability that you could actually have in a game like this there are just too many frequent stutters throughout the gameplay that really drag down the overall result now dropping the internal resolution down to just 900p but keeping the dynamic resolution scaling set the same and fsr still on with the lowest in-game graphics settings the level of performance that we're getting here is just nothing remarkable it is at least double the fps for the one percent lows but they're still not at a range that was going to be incredible in any meaningful capacity but as we saw with the 16 gigabytes of ram this is about what you could expect from the one percent lows so in general the game is pretty much performing at this point very similar to how it would be with just 16 gigabytes of ram so 8 gigabytes at least once you start to lower the resolution doesn't really seem to drag down the experience for too much now of course we can drop it down even lower once we're all the way down to 720p you'll see that the averages are looking really nice but it's still those one percent lows that are just dragging down the whole experience but really it's not the 8 gigabytes of ram that is the limitation here this is just the fact that the game itself has this performance problem so in general in this game you're not really limited by those 8 gigabytes of ram though if you're going to be having Having anything else open in the background like discord or anything like that just know that it is going to start to eat up into the ram that the game actually has access to but overall the result that we're getting out of this is just really nice at least in the sense that the eight gigabytes of ram is not being the limiting factor here and this is just the game itself that is the problem which i mean that could be patched you can't necessarily patch a ram limitation without just buying more ram now whether or not they actually patch the game and optimize it well that might be just wishful thinking but at least that is a possibility here and of course once we raise the tdp up to 25 watts it still doesn't really do much to salvage the experience at 1080p with the dynamic resolution scaling and fsr but it does do enough to make it not a complete slideshow like how it was at just the 15 watt tdp so this boost in tdp actually does make a meaningful difference in this game the one percent lows are of course now at the range where they're gonna pretty much just stick around so again not an incredible result but it's pretty much what we were expecting out of this game and it's already pretty much as good as it's gonna get of course as we drop the resolution down to 900p you'll see the usual boost in the averages but those one percent lows are all staying well with in the same range so not as meaningful of an uplift and if you just want to keep the full resolution you're pretty much going to be getting almost the same identical experience if you're just using the built-in display anyway so really even as you lower the settings or anything like that there is just no way of salvaging the overall experience here just because of the fact that those one percent lows really just continue to be a consistent problem so anyways i hope you found this useful if you did be sure to subscribe and let me know what other games you actually want to see test with just eight gigabytes of ram i'm going to keep the system like this for a good while just to test out a bunch of different games with only eight gigabytes because i do get asked about that all the time it's very inconvenient to have to swap out the ram on here so i think what i'm going to do is just periods of when it's 16 gigabytes and periods when it's eight gigabytes and then swap whenever i feel like it is necessary or a good time to do it so leave a list down below of games you want to see tested with only eight gigabytes of ram and i will see you guys next time.